if the Lord never does anything else for me. Bless his name, bless his name, bless his name, bless his name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Woo. Be seated if you can. Hallelujah. 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 Sister Cobb, if he never does anything else for me, just say, he's done enough. Trustee Cobb, when I think about what he's done for me, and every time I'm challenged to complain about what I don't have, about what's not happening in my life, I'm challenged to think about what he's already done. And, and, and here is the thing, he really didn't have to do it, but he did. It was nothing good that I did, but he did. I didn't have a lot of input, but, but he did. Because he understood there was a need in my life. That's why I've got to tell him thank you. So for the murmurers and the complainers and those who feel that God is not doing enough, I'm here to tell you.
Savior while you wait. That doesn't mean he's not going to do anything else. He, he just want to see what we're going to do. You know, how we're going to wait on him. We, we, yeah. You know, the murmuring and the complaining is just not going to help situations. So, so you've got to just give him thanks while you're on the journey and while you're praising him. He sent his only son because he loved us. That was enough. And some of us still have the nerve to not serve him. All right, take your seats. I got to preach. I got to preach. I got to preach. Some of us have the nerve to two-time God and some of us have the nerve to come to church and act like God owes you something. He's done it all. I gotta preach. I gotta preach. He's got to spoon feed us all the time. Oh God! Oh, the joy of the Lord is my strength. I will enter His gates with thanksgiving and in His court. Worship leaders are always trying to encourage you to worship and to praise. These anointed musicians are playing under the anointing and the holy auspices of the Holy Ghost. And okay, Lord, I don't know, y'all. I'm, I'm just, I tell you, I'm not fussing at you, but I'm telling you. The right conduct when you come in his presence warrants you much. It warrants you blessings. It warrants you much. Every time I cut a step for Christ, I'm walking all over my enemy's head. Every time I jump and leap, I'm walking all over my enemy's head. Every time I open my mouth and tell God thank you, I'm walking all over my enemy's head. Every time I give God thanks in the midst of my trials and my tribulations, my enemy has to back up and, and get off my back because I'm running for Jesus. All right, quickly. Come and go with me to Deuteronomy, the first chapter. Lord, have mercy. Deuteronomy, the first chapter. Got to give you the word. We can't shout all day. Lord, have mercy. I know we can't do that. Because if you shout out, you might miss your blessings. 